Good day everyone. So today the XT250 is going to get cruise control. Now I'm not doing this because I thought it would be cool to have or whatever. I'm doing this pretty much I think out of necessity because when I'm driving, especially if it's just road driving at a constant speed, um, just holding on this throttle for say like an hour or so, uh, my hand, it totally goes numb. Like it's crazy. I don't know, it's, something must be wrong with me maybe. I don't know if anyone else has that issue, but anyways, uh, the premise of this, is what it looks like. Basically it's just gonna slide on here and then you can set it. I'll show you how to do that. But the first thing we need to do, when you buy this, it comes with this thing and it actually comes with two of these ring things. Now I have heated grips and they're really, well, when they're grips, they're, they're grippy. It's like soft rubber. And unfortunately these rings are, they're, basically too small to fit on. There's there's no way I could get this on. I tried. I tried. However, they give you two of these. So I thought, hey, I am going to expand it for... Uh, hopefully you can see that. I just put, put it on the end of a shovel handle here. And it took a bit of work to get on there, but I expanded it so it's similar to the grip here. And... Then I tried to put it on, and I still couldn't get the, get this thing on. I still couldn't get it on, but I, can't, I devised a solution, and I don't know, maybe someone's done this before. I know some people will say, well, use some soap, and it will help slide it on. I tried that. Didn't work. Um, it's just too tight, but I figured out another way. It involves some saran wrap. So what I'm going to do, take this saran wrap, so just get that started around there. This excess, you can just shove it in the end here. And then, when you put the soap on here, now it's slippery, like that's super slippery. I don't know. <laughs> this seems like a weird, really weird video, but anyway. So it's good. <coughs> Now I'm going to take the ring off of the shovel here. And the hardest part is getting it started. There we go. Now, maybe I can try to get this some of the saran stuff off I don't want it sticking out that other end but look at you can just you can move it around now that's awesome so if anything in this video this is what I feel I've contributed that's really cool and then try to get this stuff off Voila! Now, then all that happens now is this thing. Whoops. There we go. So you kind of get it set here. Make sure that's as on as far as it can go. So to set this, basically get it close to where it should be and then you can tighten it down okay and then all that happens is say you're driving along uh, hand is here you just push down like that and in theory it feels like it should reasonably stay in place I might have to screw this down a bit harder and then Okay, so say you're driving along, and then you set it. You can let go. It seems like it's gonna hold. And then, to you know, if you need to stop or slow down, then you just have to rotate forward, and then it's it's released. So I don't know. I'm gonna give this a try. Um, okay, let's go to the next topic. My hand guards. So. I made a mistake when I was taking off the hand guards. Um, this goes on the end. 
So in order to put these on properly, basically you have to put this on first. And what I did, I thought I'd just be able to undo this, undo this, this uh, bolt, take it out, slide that ring up without having to take off the whole guard. But all it is is a nut with a piece of like, it looks like fuel line and then the end piece. So it compresses and uh, expands and holds in the, the uh, hand guard. So to put this on properly, let's just undo this. I hope this is on camera here. So put this guy in first, this big nylon sort of washer type thing. Then the rubber and finally the nut and you want to mine takes an allen key so i just want to get this started so the nut so it starts grabbing it hasn't really expanded yet but the nut's grabbing so of course what i did is i you know i lost the nut it went into the steering column and i can't i can't get it out I'll probably hear it rattling around, but if I hear it rattling around, then I can get it. I tried getting it out with a magnet and everything. So now, bear, make sure this is on camera. So now we're all set to go. So you want to slide this end in first, just like that. And can I see? Yeah. And then get this one started. So yeah, so when you go to take them off, just loosen this this guy a little bit, undo this one, and once you take this out, you can pull the whole assembly straight out. So my mistake again, I undid this, lost my nut in the handlebars, and I had to take it all off anyway. Anyway, that's all there is to it. I just need to tighten this stuff up, and then I'll go test this out. I think it's gonna work. Uh, I, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with it, I hope. And I think these rings are probably really important. Otherwise, you'd probably wreck your, your hand grip. And that's probably why they give you two of these, because I bet these eventually wear out. So I guess that's nice. Okay, so uh just going to show you how this thing works. So say I'm driving along, and actually my hand is already feeling kind of tingly. So say my target is uh, 80 kilometers an hour. Um, I can go by the GPS. It's going to be different depending on what you're looking at, but let's say we want 80. I'm going to do actual 80. So what I re recommend when you set this, I'm just going to look over here. So I kind of have my, I'm above my target speed. Now I'm just going to slide that down and just uh, take the pressure off here for a sec. See where it settles. So it seems like it's settled a little bit low, so let's just get up a bit more speed. Of course we're going to be going downhill now, so... And if I feel I'm going too fast, just rotate the throttle forward. going too fast maybe a little bit 84 just gonna rotate a little bit forward again so I mean it's not perfect when you go up and down hills um, of course your bike you're gonna have to do some you know you, I'm going uphill right now so I could just manually bring it up a bit get back up to my 80 The point of this is just to reduce your fatigue overall, it's not to, you know, replace your hand on the throttle. And I do recommend keeping your hand, you know, on your handlebars. Oh, there's a big hill going down here too, so... But I don't know, you get the point. It seems to be working well. I'm just gonna let it go with whatever it wants to do down the hill here. And then it's going to be a gradual climb. Probably doesn't look like it on camera, but 
I'm just keeping my hand off here so you can just see that I'm not interfering. And don't drive like this. You should keep your hands on here. But it's settling down to that 80 or so. I'm gonna be going up a more of a bit of a hill here. But yeah, it seems to be working. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, everyone, and happy riding. Give me a thumbs up. Especially if you learned how to put this thing on using that uh, saran wrap. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.